Hi everyone, it's Isaac from Why I Play. You have 58 days to get from AR40 to AR50 and prepare your characters for the Ascension. Are you ready? For today's video, we took analysis from a bunch of other videos that we previously did. If you're interested in how we got these numbers, right, please feel free to check out the videos here. On to today's video, it takes approximately 58 days for you to get from AR40 to AR50. Our goals are to get two characters max, alright? Why two characters, right? The reason is because you need two main DPS to lead your Spiral Abyss teams for both the upper and lower floor. So we're looking at getting the characters from level 70 to 80 as well as prepare for their 80 ascension. And same for the weapons as well as four sets of five star artifacts and finally talent levels from 6 to 8. That works out to the following requirements here. I have left out the calculation of essential materials because essential materials are really easy to get, right? Just a few hours of farming across a few days and you'll be able to easily acquire these materials. If you're interested, right, I have a video out there testing at world level 5 just how easy it is to get these materials, right? If you spend 4 or 5 hours farming, you can get over 1,000 artifact materials, right? So do feel free to check out in the link if you're interested. Using the previous figures we have calculated for daily income for free to play and battle pass players, we updated them to version 1.1 because now you get an extra 150,000 mora per week from bounties, right? So from the numbers, we're going to compute the number of days and here they are. These are the number of days that you will take in order to meet your requirements at AR50. So you can see that because we have 58 days, all the requirements are quite easily met except for experience for free to pay players, right? They require 158 days in order to meet your requirements. So that's a short for 100 days or more than 2 million character XP. One thing to note about artifact XP is that you can't get any artifact XP just relying on your dailies. So you need to do some sort of investigate point farming or killing elite enemies or spending resin in order to get any artifact XP. So for artifacts, uh, of course, you may want to spend more resin in order to complete your set of 5 star artifacts. So here are the figures for resin spending. As you can see, it is well within our 58 days limit in order for us to complete all our resin requirements for just these two characters. From the data, we can observe the bottlenecks and it's very obvious that XP is the largest bottleneck, especially for free to play players. In fact, the size of the bottleneck for XP is so large that it is more than 4 times your bottleneck for Mora. From here, we can draw a number of interesting conclusions, alright? So tip number one, if you are a free-to-play player, consider doing XP ley lines. Because from our calculations, it's very obvious that you will have a large shortfall of EXP. So if you know me and you've been watching my channel, you know I don't normally recommend doing ley lines. But uh, if you happen to be free-to-play, right, you just do your dailies and log off, you don't really have an additional source of XP income, then ley lines is the way to go. And in fact, how many ley lines do you need? It's about 34 ley lines, right? Or spending just under four days of ley line farming. Now, it's important to note that in many giveaways, events, Mihoyo tends to focus on Mora and character XP so far. So if you participated in the recent Unreconciled Star event, it would have given you 3.75 million XP, right? Which is more than enough, which means that you don't really have to do any more ley lines uh, for your first two characters at least. Tip number two, there's actually no need to farm weapon ores at all. So what do I mean by this? Well, there's lots of videos out there uh, recommending how you can farm weapon ores every day in order to meet your 30 crafting limit, right? There's really no need to do this because even if you didn't combine a single ore at the blacksmith, by the time you hit AR50, right, from the enhancement mods you get from your dailies, you will have enough ores to complete 5 to 7 weapons, right? Whether they are 4 or 5 star. So really farming extra weapons is just so that you can get stronger in the Abyss faster. So again, if you are on the itch of crossing over to 3, 6 or 9 stars in the Abyss, right? This is something you can consider. If not, uh, there's no need to actually spend resources on this. So what to do instead of farming weapon ores? Well, they will open another 20 or 25 minutes a day. So it's better for you to spend that looking for investigate points for artifacts or farming elite enemies because they can drop XP, Mora, as well as artifact XP, right? As we saw from our chart earlier, the bottleneck is really uh, in XP and then after that Mora, like weapons are right at the bottom and they are plenty easy to get. So by the same logic, you should not be farming magical ores, right? Because they are just a way to sink your resin and uh, it's a complete waste. Of course, by not refining 30 sets of crystal ores a day, you can save 1.5k mora a day, which adds up to 45k mora a month. It's not a lot, but uh, it's a good amount of savings anyway. And now we come to tip number three, which is how to spend your resin. So assuming you get no extra mora or 
resin from events and other sources. Whether you are a free to play player or a battle plus player, you will have leftover resin and quite a significant amount of it. So what do you do with this extra resin? Well, I have three options for you to consider. So option one is to stockpile excess XP that you can use on your characters after they break the level 80 limit. All right, so to get your two characters from 80 to 90, it actually takes one full year to accumulate uh, enough character XP, assuming you don't do any extra farming. For battle pass players, it's a bit better, but it still takes for a month. Option two will be to spend your resin on getting more 5-star artifacts as well as artifact XP to upgrade your existing 5-star artifacts. So if you have fragile resin lying around and have managed to save them until AR45, this is a great way to spend all of it, right? You just dump it in, right? Get your artifacts as high as they can possibly get, right? This will help you, especially in the Abyss. The third option you can consider is to raise the other characters that you use in the Abyss besides your two main DPS. Right? This increases your margin for error in the Abyss as well as is a cheaper way to boost the power of your party because lower level upgrades are much less resource intensive. I prefer options 2 and 3 because they give me more power in the Abyss which means there's a higher chance that I can increase my premium gem income in the next Abyss cycle. Alright guys, thanks for watching till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from it. So in our upcoming videos, we're going to be looking at progression to 90, the effect on farming, right, on your overall progression and so on. If that sounds interesting to you, alright, do hit the subscribe button, right, and give us a like. If you have any comments as well on today's video, uh, any thoughts you have, right, please feel free to share in the section below, right. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Isaac from Why I Play and I will see you in the next one.